Ah, it's so good to be back from vacation in this, the month of August, the year of our Lord 2023. I sure can't wait to get back to work on my YouTube channel. <coughs> hey everybody, Digital Unity here. This is not the video I was expecting to make today, but here we are. In late August, I took on a full-time job that gave me two days off a week. I thought I would be able to swing it so I could make content on those two days off, but it would sadly seem that, much like Loki in The Avengers, I lacked conviction. See, working irregular hours and having your days off separated like this, it doesn't really make for an easy time keeping up on your hobbies. You need a day to rest, where you know you don't have work to go to, and a day to actually do the hobbies or tasks. When they're separated out, you don't get those, so you spend your days off a bit like this. It's not great. When I came home each night from work, I spent my evenings trying to get some downtime in before the next day. And when I had days off, I spent them trying to make sure I was ready for the next day. This was a continuing cycle, and resulted in the utter drought of content you've been forced to endure. However, I am pleased to announce that I am moving into a field that actually uses my comp sci degree, IT. And guess who gets weekends off? In October. Look, I know I keep pushing back when new stuff is gonna drop, I hate to do it. I've got a schedule all lined up for myself to get my YouTube channel back on track. Sundays are now editing days. Anything I want to work on for video editing is to be done Sunday afternoons. Monday through Friday are work days where I go to work, come home, and if I'm feeling up to it I can work on robots or try to record. Fridays are still stream days, and Saturdays are my dedicated recording day. I'm aware this is some inside baseball, peek behind the curtain type stuff, but all of this is sort of nothing to you guys. Inconsequential, unhelpful, utterly useless as a means of making up for you having to wait so long. I am deeply sorry. And to show you how sorry I am, next week I'll be streaming every night in an event I like to call... The Stream Dimension Art Marathon. I'm still debating if I want each night to be a different game, or if I just want to make a single game the focus of the whole week, but rest assured there will be so many streams! As my way of giving back to you all and saying, whoopsie doodle, I for gore, all this is going into my phone as different alarms, so I'm excited for my phone to start ringing off the hook, but it's just me telling myself to get back to work. But lastly, I would like to talk about scope and scale. The scope of this channel was originally to be an old-style Let's Play channel, where I sit down and I play a game for an audience, and I bring my commentary and editing to the table. That kind of content, while it is exactly what I set out to make, doesn't feel as fun to do anymore. Further, keeping up with a series at a regular pace is a big undertaking, and I didn't realize just how tough that would be for one man. Frog. Frogman. To do. Our scope was poor, and our scale was all out of whack. Things need to change drastically if I'm going to get this channel running smoothly again. I'm not sure what our upload schedule will look like, but it is probably not going to be conducive to longer series like this anymore. That's not to say it won't be conducive to longer series in general, but the way I go about those longer series might change entirely. In October, a few games I've been excited for will be coming out and they'll be GREAT guinea pigs for this! I'll be looking at their formats and trying to pick a best way to approach things. So where does that leave us? With a clear goal and a path forward. I'll see you all Sunday for the first stream of the Streamdemption arc. Until next time, I've been Digital Unity, and this has been a heck of a month.